Hello guys, in this video I want to show you guys the calendar app on the Galaxy S3. Uh, this is a feature that a lot of people have been you know, ignoring about the Galaxy S3 is that it has a new map and the new map is very 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 nice. So let's go click on it and the, the great thing about it is like look, once you look at it the first thing you notice is that it looks so beautiful. It has a very warm colors, you know, a little brown over here, little little um, bone white in the background. It looks very, very elegant. That's very, very nice. Uh, compared to the stock ICS um, calendar, that's all white. And this is a big, big change. It looks very beautiful. And another cool thing is that here, if you click over here, you can see all these options. And I and I like the way they ju they just open out and in very smooth. And here you got the options to see all the calendars. And right there, you could go and see future calendars, or you could go ahead and swipe, which is very nice. Um, here you could go ahead and click today. Let's say you are on this, on the on the month looking app calendar. Here you could go to the next month. Very cool. Over here you go here. Very nice. Here you could go click here and it will take you back to today's date. And another cool thing is that you can also check this. Make sure you check on this. And you will be able to see your U.S. holiday on the calendar. Once you check mark that, you will the holidays will appear in blue. I got Labor Day next holiday coming up, and you can see Labor Day. You see Patriot Day, uh, Columbus Day, Halloween. You know you see all the important day um holidays that are federal and non-federal. That that's very cool. And every time you got like an event on any day, like this day, I got payday. So I got this remembering every time. And here in the bottom, you can see all the nice event. You can also put special events. I like putting special events, like um, for example, Sunday, the Curiosity landed on Mars. So right here, I put Curiosity landed on Mars. So I open it up. So when you click on it, you can open it up and you get this nice card. It looks very, very beautiful. Um, here you, I put the time and date. Here you can actually put repeat yearly. So every year that same event is going to be, it's going to tell me, hey, the, the day like today, the calendar, the curiosity landed, the location where I was at. And uh, I, you can even put reminders. Uh, so to remind me, uh, right now I put like remind me two days before, one day before. It will remind you, hey, it's this day is coming up. That, so that's a very cool feature that I've been using for a while too. That's a, one of the benefits of the Google Calendar. When you put it landscape mode, it also looks very, very nice. So automatically you're going to see these options here. That looks cool. That looks very, very nice, I'm telling you. Let me show you guys here for a second. Um, I want to recommend you guys, every time you um, put on, in a new event or something, it will automatically sync at its own time. But you can, if you want to sync it yourself to make sure it does sync, so just make sure you hit sync. And here in settings, when you go to settings, you can control when the week starts. Um, you could hide decline events. Um, this is a very cool feature for people who travel a lot. It will lock the event and date selected to the time zone that you select. Like for example, if you're in the Pacific side and the West Coast and you have an event, blah, 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 blah you put up an event for t um, one day and one time but on the that side and you go to the east side so that's going to be a little messed up a lot of people get confused and a lot of sometimes it, their their time event the alert gets messed up because of the change of time zone so this is a very cool feature that they put on the calendar that you can actually lock the time zone of the event that you put so that's a very very good feature for people who travel a lot um here in the bottom, um, this this notification notification while screen is off. 
I, by default is unchecked I check it that's a very cool feature that because um, when there's a notification and it alerts you it will notify you full screen even when the screen is off that's very very nice so let me try and test that so you guys can see so let's say to create an event I'm here in that day right oh get back so let's go ahead I click plus and testing app the time goes okay so now the event is created and like you can see there if you click on it it looks gonna look very nice and everything so I'm gonna turn off the screen so you guys can see how cool it looks okay so like you, like you can like you saw right there the screen was off and it came up with the event and it looks very nice. It, looks, it shows you the calendar, it tells you the time and, and everything you put the event for and the title of the event. From here you can go ahead and go ahead and dismiss right there or make it snooze so it could remind you later on. So that's a very, very, very cool feature and by default is unchecked. So I recommend you guys if you want to have that cool feature, make sure you check this out. Okay, so make sure you check this because that's a very cool feature and like I said like everything you could select ringtones any tones you want another cool feature is that you can actually put an event using S voice let's go ahead and put uh, let's tell her to remind me dinner at 8 Remind me for dinner at 8 o'clock. Okay. Here's your task. Ready for me to save it? So, this is... Yes. Saving your task. So, there it goes. And the same thing, you could put it for another... Okay, I saved it. Okay, thank you. Uh, you can do the same thing for some other day. Hey, remember me Wednesday at 6 p.m. to call this guy. And it will automatically give you all that just like that. Very nice. And this is going to, let's see if it's in the calendar. Look at that. Dinner. Let's click on it. Dinner due date. Da, da, da. Due date at 8 p.m. And the great thing about this that this will sync to every calendar every calendar you have it will sync to Let's say it will sync by on its own like I said before But let's say let's sync it now just in case it hasn't synced, but it will sync on its own And let's go check my Nexus calendar Like you can see that it synced the the testing thing that I did before the, the test full screen it actually synced and you can see it right there it synced very good but maybe this app maybe this remember this is a whole different calendar this calendar might not sync task which I think it doesn't sync task see this this is the settings on, on the typical ICS um, calendar and it's almost plain there's not too many options in there uh, I don't see task here so it did not I don't think it's gonna sync the task because that calendar has has doesn't has that option to but it did sync the testing app that we did before see right there it did it and I recommend you guys if you guys have an iPhone or iOS and are thinking about changing make sure you guys use calendar uh, Google's calendar to sync your events and your calendar because Apple actually lets you sync all your calendar and your events with Google so make sure you do that so let's say let's say in the future maybe not now but if in the future you buy an Android device or a Windows device it doesn't matter you will be able to choose Google's calendar and bring you all your events right over you don't have to do nothing just sign in and that's it so that's the great thing about Google Calendar I'm here when you click plus to add an event you could add a quick event like with a lot without adding a lot of option options selecting a lot of options you can add event a little bit more detailed or you could go ahead and add a task 
that the task can be done using the S voice, which is awesome. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, so this was a look at the calendar app on the Galaxy S3. Um, it's a very good app, and I love it. And um, this is one of the reasons I, I, I have my phone rooted, but I haven't put a ROM on it yet because all the ROMs, what it, what it does is, like, they strip all everything all the cool features away from the phone and put cyan engine mod or anything stock or very very strict android and i really don't want that because um if you put a rom on this beautiful phone it will take away all those roms all those beautiful and awesome features of this phone so that's the reason i haven't um, put a rom on this phone i have it rooted but not put it a rom this phone does not deserve that. It has so many features that if you do it, it will just, you know, make your phone just like any other phone. Uh, this is an awesome phone, guys. Uh, it's an amazing phone, and the only thing that this phone needs is a launcher. That's it. That's all I put an Apex launcher or Nova launcher. And what I'm using is Nova um, Apex launcher. And that's it. This is an awesome phone. So, guys, I um, hope you guys like my video and my tips. And let me know what you guys think about it and if you guys find any cool features that we haven't seen let me know as well in the, in the description in the comments below so I could try it out okay guys till next time